Welcome guys to Eagle Man's Corner. The Lord bless you, keep you. Excuse me, I, uh, <laughs> I've been jogging a little bit, jogging along this beach, uh, beautiful Encinitas Beach. The waters are high up on the shore, so there's not a whole lot of places to jog out there, but I managed to get a little bit in. Nonetheless, welcome to Eagle Man's Corner. And today I just wanted to share with you what I think that it's all about. I remember I had this uh, young woman come next to me and sit down next to me in Colorado Springs at the coffee shop and she said, so what is life all about anyways? And at that time it caught me by such surprise I didn't know how to answer her. But anyway, what I told her was something about how God wanted a relationship with mankind so uh, or something like that. But today I want to tell you what I think that it's all about. And that is, it's all about the last two chapters of the Holy Bible. Revelation 21 and 22. That's what it's all about. And it's about the 12 tribes of Israel. God going through all the world to draw back, to, to bring together the scattered and lost tribes of Israel. And when you're born again in the Spirit, whether you're a no matter what your national background, no matter what your heritage, when you're born again in the Spirit, you're automatically grafted into that vine, and guess what? It's no secret with the Father, because He knows who's going to come back in. He knows who His tribes are. He knows those who love Him. He knows those who fear Him. He knows those that He's called, chosen, before this foundation of the world. And anyway, to me, that's what it's all about. Revelation 21 and 22 talks about this city, the one that Abraham went looking for. Abraham went looking for a city whose builder and maker was God, not men, but God. And, um, and that's the city that we're looking for to set down. The New Jerusalem is three times the size of the Jerusalem that is on earth. And according to the measurements in Revelation, it's three times the size, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that when our corruption shall be taken away, because guess what? I'm not perfect, and I've made some terrible mistakes. You know, I don't know about you guys. You guys may be perfect, but I'm not there yet. And nonetheless, there will come a time when corruption shall put on incorruption. We're going to be clothed in it, and it's going to be in His incorruption. And that's what we're looking forward to, perfection of beauty, perfection of love. As we grow in this thing, and as he's calling his 12 tribes together. Anyway, I just wanted to get a little bit of a, of a, a nice background for you for Eagle Man's Corner this time. And thank you guys for your prayers and support as I am in unknown territory taking land, believe it or not, even through my weaknesses. And thank you so much. God bless you. I love you.